Hey there, it's Yuho. Um, a little after work uh, drink in hand. Um, I want to talk to you about something called sales temperature. And what I mean by that is I've been talking a lot about optimizing for sales, uh, conversion optimization and whatnot this past week or so. And uh, one thing that's uh, kind of surprising for a lot of people is that you know, what to optimize matters sometimes a lot more than how or what and so on. It's where you optimize. And if you think about optimization efforts, uh, a lot of attention goes uh, towards the um, uh, start of the funnel, meaning you, you optimize the ads, you create a bunch of variations and, uh, uh, you know, for different audiences, one for you know, cat jugglers and another for underwater boxers and whatnot. And then you see what works better. Then you have your landing page um, uh, optimization, which for some people is everything uh, optimization. And, you know, obviously you, you try to target towards the exact um, um, needs of your prospects so that you'll get the right exact people. Maybe you have uh, a few different landers and then you test them and you choose the one that works but the thing that a lot of people seem to miss is that the, when people come in especially through advertising uh, and from email even more so their sort of uh, buying temperature is rather high and the further they go it tends to go a little chillier granted if you have a really good sales page a really good sales video and you do your sales piece really well, uh, it could it could kind of almost stay there. But the further along you go, you go to your checkout page, you think about your payments and everything, and suddenly it all falls apart. And if you've ever sold anything online, you probably know this. Uh, e even if you've just bought stuff online, you probably know this from your own behavior. So what can we do about that? It, it, firstly, recognize that the sales temperature radically cools down towards the end of the funnel and um, what you need to focus on then is to optimize the checkout page you have your testimonials in place you have a really nice clean clear design for the checkout page and you um, you have your most important benefit bullets in there you have a minimum amount, amount of uh, fields to fill. You have actual headlines uh, f for the for the page, and what and you remind people why they're why they're actually there, why they why they are uh, buying that stuff from you. And uh, and after that, the payment uh, experience should be like like a complete afterthought. But a lot of cards make it really hard, and and uh, if you have crappy options <laughs> or maybe no options at all uh, well all that hard work you put into ads your landing pages your sales page your, the whole funnel it's all for nada well maybe not for all, all for nada but but basically um, what happens is that uh, you throw away a lot of sales and and you have the greatest leverage right at the bottom of the funnel so if you put more attention uh, more attention on uh, the checkout experience and more attention on payment conversion, meaning how smoothly does that payment process actually go? And I, I've seen just massive increases uh, from uh, optimizing those. Um, you, get, you know, whereas if you optimize your the the, the, the front end, uh, you can get. So what you need to do is uh, take a really close look at your actual final performance and especially the psychology of, of uh, you know, how you present it all and uh, sometimes even replacing a, your usual shopping carts or PayPal or what have you with a mobile option sometimes has yielded like five times more conversion and that's ridiculous if you think about all the work you uh, go through to put put together your funnel so anyway that's just something to 
uh, think about uh, your sales temperature, how it happens, and what you can do to increase it. Well, for now, just keep in mind, you know, the uh, the the end of the funnel is what ultimately matters, and that's where you have your leverage. Anyway, have a good one. Um, it's been a long day. Uh, don't, don't forget to have some fun, and uh, I'll see you soon.